Hey y'all, I just wanted to touch base with you guys on some detail for the last video of deliverance that I posted. Now I've had a few private messages come in asking questions and others assuming and being kind of ugly, but that's okay because when there's no understanding, um, I guess it can be kind of scary or um, rejected. So. I wanted to kind of want to touch base on that. I know that everyone is familiar because there's no way that you've not seen um, deliverance on um, administered to people throughout this platform as well as others. But what I need you to know is the difference is that when you have a whole Bible keeper, it is not the same thing. Just that. Okay. There is no fighting or wrestling with any unclean spirits. Whole Bible keepers fall under every bit of his commands. We observe a Sabbath. We keep his feast days. We don't keep pagan holidays. There is a huge, huge difference in administering deliverance with a whole Bible keeper as opposed to one who um, does not. Now, you're going to wrestle with them unclean spirits if there's not well I'm just I'm just gonna be quite frank if if you do not keep the commands of God okay and you claim Yeshua as your Messiah as your as your Christ your Savior you are gonna wrestle with unclean spirits because they know that you are um, not obedient that being said I do not wrestle with unclean spirits when administering deliverance. It's just plain and simple. We have been doing this for several years and it has been the same across the board. Across the board. And not one time have we had to fight with them. They come out Luke 10, 17 on talks about how you know, they have the power to cast out unclean spirits, the same as Mark 16, 16 through 18. And I know those that want to say, well, it wasn't written until it did it with the Mark thing. Okay, it's in the rest of the Gospels. It's all of the rest of the New Testament, Acts, all throughout. If you are a whole Bible keeper and you observe every bit of Sabbath and you keep his feast days, and you come out of the worldly traditions, you and carry the full authority that Yeshua said in Mark 16, 17 through 18. You carry that, and the demons know it, and they don't argue. They didn't argue with Paul. They didn't argue with Yeshua, and they obviously did not argue with the disciples here in Luke 10, 17 on. Okay, so that's just how it is. Everyone holds this authority. I do um, advise to do a little research and digging into it, studying it out. This is something that you have to be sure of who you are in Yahweh, in Yeshua Messiah. You have to know who you are and the authority that you carry. And there's no arguing and there's no fighting. They just leave. So the platforms that you guys are used to seeing and the deliverance that you're used to seeing, it is nothing like that at all. Mm -mm. If you guys are feeling led to um, private message me and I will send you every bit of information that will help you in your studies with this. I'm not, um, not throwing my pearls out there for them to be treaded on. Um, if you guys are interested, uh, private message me and I will share my pearls with those who are seeking diligently to carry the full authority and be able to administer. It's sad to me the number of people that are whole Bible keepers that have rejected deliverance. They should know better. What I feel has happened is They've thrown the baby out with the bathwater. But this is the authority given to every single disciple of Yeshua. And you should walk in it. If you are unfamiliar, you need to revisit. 
if you are afraid, then you need to read scripture and realize why you're not supposed to be afraid of these unclean spirits and what authority you have and how they are actually afraid of you. In coming into the truth of who you are and what authority that you carry. See, you have part knowledge, but you've not walked in the fullness of it yet if you were not setting people free in deliverance. And so many Torah observant people have tossed it aside because it has to do with what Christianity does. If you have not administered it or even tried to do so on yourself, you have no right to judge. Okay? You are judging not righteous judgment. I'm sorry. I know I'm going to get some hate on that. I have to tell the truth. It is not the same as one who does not keep commands of God as opposed to one who does. This is not something that I am just spouting out. I have not even begun to tell the stories on here of the people that we have met through Abba inspired meetings for him to use us to administer the deliverance to set these people free. Maybe I need to start. I want to add this tidbit in there. You can't be afraid. You cannot be afraid of these unclean spirits because Yahweh has given us complete authority over them. You're going to have people come in our experience and um, witchcraft, Freemasons, Illuminati, uh, devil worship, accursed. We have seen so many captives set free. And if this is something that is not of Yah, he wouldn't keep making divine appointments for us to meet them and for him to be able to work through us to set them free. So, y'all bless y'all. Actually, no it isn't. The Bible teaches it. And the concept is being a disciple. The preachers and teachers of this generation don't teach you guys what it means to be a disciple. Let's go over it. In Matthew 28, 18 through 20, Yeshua states that they are to go forth and make disciples of all the nations. The word disciples there is Strong's Concordance 3101, and it reads this, a learner, disciple, pupil, properly a learner, disciple, a follower of Christ who learns the doctrines of scriptures and the lifestyle they require, someone catechized with proper instruction from the Bible, with its necessity to follow through life's applications. When does your discipleship begin? Matthew 9, 9 gives us the example, as soon as you hear his call. That's when you exercise your own will to follow after him. And when you do, he gives you every bit of the requirements that's needed to be his disciple. Let's go over them, shall we? Give up all that you have, Luke 14, 33. Deny yourself and take up his cross, Matthew 16, 24. Be born again, baptized in water and spirit, that's John 3, 3. Transform in the likeness of Christ, that is mind, lifestyle, and conduct. And that trickles over into how you treat people and how you dress. And that's 2 Corinthians 3, 18. Actively make others disciple in truth. And that's Matthew 28, 19 through 20. Also, Mark 16, 16 through 18, tells them that they will heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out demons, and speak in new tongues. A disciple is obedient to the Heavenly Father's commands. 2 John 1, 6. A disciple will suffer. 1 Peter 2, 21. They are to love their enemies. Matthew 5, 44 through 45. They will obtain gifts of the Spirit. That's 1 Corinthians 12. Read that whole chapter. It's also Galatians 5, 22 through 23. Those are the gift of the Holy Spirit. All these things a true disciple will do.
and he will obtain a transformation in his lifestyle, in his life, in his person, the way he thinks, the way he acts, everything, all because he loves Yeshua and he wants to be his disciple. And that's John 14, 15. He will do all these things because he loves Yeshua and is a disciple, a true disciple of Yeshua. And all this in obedience to Yahweh, right? This is the means in which Yahweh has provided to establish us back to him is through Yeshua. And this is the conduct, the lifestyle we're to live. And when you are a disciple and you are obedient to all these things, now there's a lot more digging you have to do. You have to get into it to find out all that's required. But I've given you a nice little overage. You will do this and you will carry the full authority as Yeshua has stated that he gave that authority to us, right? You know, many, many disciples turned away from him because they, it was just, it was too much and they couldn't do it. Now I want you to listen to this one because this is really good. John 8, 31, this is Yeshua speaking to those who believed, okay? He was talking to his disciples. They were the ones who believed. If you abide in my word, you are truly my disciple and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Hmm. It will set you free. Let's see what free is there, okay? And it means to set free. Release from bondage, to remove the restrictions of sin, darkness. Because delivered by Yah into the spiritual liberty. And that is from um, Strong's Concordance number 1658. So let's look that up. It is free, unbound, unshackled, and free to realize one's destiny in Christ Yeshua. Mm. That sounds a lot like deliverance, don't it? Yeah, I thought so too. Matthew 15, 26 through 28. That's Yeshua stating that deliverance is the children's bread. So who is going to be the one to administer those? If we're all child of God and we all are needing it, shouldn't there be someone who's just like Yeshua doing their very best? Oh yeah, I think so. That would be the disciples who mimic the very lifestyle that Yeshua gave. Paul even said so himself. Mimic me as I mimic Yeshua. That is all of our responsibility in closing, guys, when you are obedient to the word of Yahweh and you are a disciple, which is all these things that I've named and then some, this is the authority that you carry. If you walked as Yeshua walked and do as Yeshua did, all that authority, Ephesians 1.21 Matthew 28, 18, all these times where Yeshua spoke of the authority given to him and he passes it on to us, it's made available to you. You are going to fight the enemy if you do not adhere to the word, the commands of Yahweh. You're going to fight him. This shouldn't offend you. This, this should not offend anybody. Listen, there's not hardly anybody out there that is scripture, whole Bible, Torah observant, scripture observant, that does deliverance. This is a new road that we are treading. This is new ground. But you know what? I am taking the full authority that was given to me through Yeshua Messiah from Yahweh himself. And I am exercising my right 
and I'm going to help everybody I can, and I'm going to teach everybody that'll listen. I'm not holding back any truth for any man, any woman, any child. I am going to teach what has been given to me to teach, and I'm not going to feel bad doing it neither because I know what I'm teaching is truth. I've lived it. What other example do I have other than my own testimony? This is not me just teaching from the scriptures. This is living the life that I am teaching. And, and that's the difference. That's the difference. I love my God and I love his people and I will not muffle the truth. I'm going to tell you everything that I can to help you walk in freedom and to set others free. Because this is not a path that is well trodden. And if I lose friends and subscribers over it, so be it. Those who have ears will want to hear. Live that Bible that you read. Obey everything in it. Don't make excuses to get out of it. And watch the Holy Spirit be the power before you, behind you, and all around you. And you won't have to defend yourself. The Word will do it for you.